Hello and welcome to Burger Play Civilization 5. Uh, this is the my first single player let's play on the Bear Arms channel and we will be playing one of my absolute favorite games of all time ever in history of games of all time. Which is Civilization 5. Now I haven't played the previous games a lot, meaning that the only real Civ game I played before Civilization 5 was Free Civ. Which, some of you may know it, it's really old. Um, so, uh, I, I, like many people say that Civ 5 is so shit and Civ 4 is better. And, but I think that this is really, this is really, this classic old man. Ah, oh, back in the day everything was better. You know, so I'm not, I'm not going to listen to that. So, no, uh, Civilization 5, I have invested uh, 170 hours in this game, which is a lot for my standards of how long I play games. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be playing this game. And you might ask now, why do we not play... Uh, why, why do we even play... Why are you even playing this, you fucking twat? Uh, Civilization Beyond Earth is coming out this fall. And yes, it is coming out this fall. And we will be playing Civilization Beyond Earth uh, on the Bear Arms channel. I guarantee it, as soon as I have it, I will start recording. I will not play uh, without recording. The first thing I'm going to do is just pop it in and uh, there we're gonna go. Um, what I do believe is that uh, seeing as the civilization beyond Earth has a very new concept with the whole space thing going on, it will not replace Civ 5 per se, you know. It, it will be more like uh, Alpha Centauri, you know, because that's what it's inspired by, you know. It's gonna have this whole new system of doing things, all these cool innovations, which I'm really, really, uh, I'm really excited to see all that shit. Like the uh, completely innovative tech web, which we have never seen before in endless space. <coughs> um, yeah, so that's going to happen. But I don't think it's going to replace the classic uh, approach of Civ of getting all these ancient civilizations in one huge melting pot and just killing and bashing and destroying and whatever. You know, uh, so that is not going to happen. So Civ 5 will still be here. And also, fuck you, that's why I'm playing... That's why I'm playing Civ 5, because fuck you, that's why. Because I can, because I like this game. Don't judge me. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I actually already recorded a session of Civ 5. Uh, it did not go well. The game crashed at some point and corrupted the autosave. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, uh, which gave me the time to actually go ahead and... Um, put in some mods. We will be playing this playthrough with a couple mods because I'm a huge fan of mods in every game you can possibly imagine. Uh, and Civilization 5 is no different. We will be playing with City States Leaders 2 by Nutty, which is essentially you will not have the the like Parliament White House things on as city state portraits, but like actual faces of people who lead those city states. Uh, the Red Mod Pack by Jedemon, which I have, or Jedemon, or Jedemon, I don't know, which I have heard that is an absolute essential uh, to the game, but I've never used before, but it's just uh, aesthetic improvements, like you will have um, cooler units, more ethnic units, you know, all that sort of shit. Uh, Info Addict by Rob K, which of course is uh, just, will give us enormous amounts of information and data on diplomacy and industry and science and how we how much better we are compared than to, to anybody else then uh, mega buildings by Rorschach which I will show you really quick is um, uh, fuck off mate um, uh, is somewhere it should be somewhere around here uh, Which should be somewhere around here. Yeah. Oh yeah, advanced structures. It's, oh, it's really at the end of everything. Yeah. Which will give us access to some really, really fancy buildings. Very late game. So you won't see much of this mod anytime soon. But you can, at the end of this Let's Play, expect to uh, have us build these enormous things. Um, then uh, Cry Zen's Great People Pack, which uh, gives us a lot of more great people, more diverse great people. That is not so Eurocentric. Small people from around the world. I think it's uh, about 160 different uh, folks. Um, culturally linked starting locations, also by G Demon or Jedemon or 
Ge Gedemon or Gedemon or Gedemon, whatever. Uh, and um, yeah, essentially what this will do is uh, have us not spawn next to like uh, Hiawatha, you know. We will probably be spawning around the Assyrians and Babylon and Egypt and all those civilizations and Greece that were like close by, which exactly, we are playing the Persian civilization because that is my fav favorite civilization in, in Civ 5. Because I like it. Also, we will, uh, we will be using uh, Historical Religions by Tomatek, uh, which just adds a lot of really, really interesting and cool religions that the other leaders will actually go ahead and use as their own. So we won't have, like, the Incans choosing Catholicism as their own religion, because that was not their own religion. And also, uh, the map script used for this is Perfect World 3 by Cephalo. Um, I've played with this map, ma map script a few times before. Um, it usually spawned me on very bad locations. To say, yeah, we're playing on normal difficulty. We will be, uh, we have everything set to standard. We're, there are 12 other civilizations in the game. And as I said, we play as Persia. So let's go ahead and found our first city, Persepolis. Yay! Ooh. I'm really, I'm really a bit scared that the game cra might crash again because of all the mods. Uh, I've played a lot more games with a lot more mods, but. You never know. Civ Five is a fickle mistress. You don't even know, man. Holy shit! It's really, it's really hardcore. Um, yeah, we're going to be running around here, and I've played Civ a lot. Um, that does ah, fuck off. Um, that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing, though. That's I like I'm at the level at which I no longer automate my workers. Uh, but that's really it. So we're going to go ahead and we may try for a bit of religion in this game through a playthrough. And very important is that we get this Chichen Itza because, um, uh, no, 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 where can I see this? Um, I don't think I can see this anywhere, which is, which is actually, it's a bit ridiculous. Isn't it? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, the, uh, our special ability is the Achaemenid Legacy. Which means that golden edges last 50% longer, and during a golden age, units receive plus one movement speed and plus 10% combat strength. Which is fucking brilliant. Uh, so we will be trying to extend this shit as long as possible to have golden ages that last for, for ages, literally. And uh, get a lot of golden ages, because we will really rock when the, the gold is flowing, essentially. So we need Chichen Itza because uh, it just increases it by another 50%. And we will be popping all great artists we get. And also a bit of religion. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves pottery. Uh, oh yeah, Excuse me. Would, you, would you leave now? I don't know why this has come back. I, I turned these off a while ago, but you know. It's when you start recording, shit goes wrong. Yeah, next turn. We also, it's, this, this is a pretty good start. We have uh, ivory, we have uh, here marble, we have furs, some cows over here. We're at a river. Yeah, this is cool. I think this is going to be a great start. Uh, yeah, let's just not go out too far because of barbarians. They tend to be very bad in the first few turns. Uh, I have had one or two games where I was absolutely overrun by barbarians, especially on this map script, uh, interestingly. I thought about using the Barbarian Spawn Reduction mod, but I didn't, because I'm not a fucking pussy. So yeah, you won't be seeing that. I actually do use it for my single player Let's Plays, but you know, why not have a bit of fun with uh, Barbarians? This is, yeah, so this Perfect World map script is going to make for some in very interesting terrain things. And I do very much hope this is not exclusively an Inland Sea, because... That will be, uh, how do you say, um, a bit shit for trade routes because there is literally a proper ocean. Our capital city has finished building fuck off. No, fuck off, mate. Fucking advisors. I know what I'm doing, Dad. I know everything. It's, it's, I have him explore a bit, able to meet a few other saves to party with. Uh, and uh, what are we going to build? We're not going to build a monument because we're going to get something that will give us a free monument uh, very soon. Uh, so yeah, we won't be doing that. 
Uh, we will. I will not be expanding much. Uh, fuck you. It, it's doing it uh, because I'm not uh, someone who likes to warmonger. I'm more of a, an economy player. But we will probably go to war with other servers because this is a very competitive game, and I will sometimes want things that, that they have and I do not. Uh, or they will want things that I uh, I have and they do not. I don't know. It's I can't see into their heads. And also I've uh, turned on random personalities because um, I don't want to be able to predict the things that happen because everybody who's ever played Civ... Ooh, 90 gold. Nice. Uh, everybody, anybody who has ever played Civ knows that Gandhi will fucking milk you. That is just how he is. Uh, that's just what happens. And I don't want to see Gandhi and immediately see the little nuclear radiation symbols in, in his eyes glow and think, ooh, I am going to nook you. No, this, I want to, I want to go there and I want to have the chance, at least the chance of him being somewhat peaceful in this game. So yeah, this is just because of Gandhi. No, it's just because uh, I don't, you know, it's because I can, fuck you. And we have our first barbarian encampment. This is, oh, holy shit. It's not going to be very nice. There's a lot of really cool stuff around here we will get eventually. Um, yeah, so soldiers go around uh, next turn. Oh, fuck, fuck the off. enemy unit. You yeah, I know. I'm not trying to attack anyone, mate. Uh, ooh, ooh, nice. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, we have a Persian archer now. I like archers, they're really, they're really practical uh, early in the game. Um, if you get into walls, that is, that is. I will see if this is actually an inland sea, or if any of these are inland seas. It's, maybe they're all inland seas, maybe they're all oceans, I don't Shall know. the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? I like this guy's voice. Fuck off, mate, I know what I'm doing. This is not my first playthrough. Yeah, I'm gonna automate exploration because I can't be bothered to do that as well. Ah, brilliant. This is. Well, this could still be an inland sea, but I, I think it's a bit doubtful. And even if it is, there's probably gonna be blokes selling there. Uh, what are we gonna research? Uh, we are going to research uh, writing so we can get the Great Library. Uh, we are going. Yes, that is what we're going to do. Because uh, if you start the game, just. So always go for the Great Library because it's fucking awesome. It's great. And if you don't do it, if you don't get it, you will get a bit of a gold boost to, to buy shit and stuff. It's, you know. I mean, it's always better to get the one with your building, but it's not the most horrible thing to happen if you don't. Because you will get money. And who doesn't want money, essentially? Who on this earth does not like money? And don't, I don't, if, you, if you're saying you're like one of those hippies who don't like money, fuck you, mate. You like money and you know it. You're a liar. No. Excuse me. No, I won't excuse you, you twat. That's very nice music. Uh, this is Ran Avalona, the first of the Kingdom of Madagascar and Antananarivo. They give us 30 gold, they're mercantile, they have porcelain and pearls, and really, that's very cool. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, they're down here. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I like the uh, the city state portraits more. That's no love. I, I don't need. I don't need you to run around here. It's, I I know what I'm doing. I don't know why this is strung up now. This whole issue of people trying to help me. I hate it. Um, I have some information that may be of use. Oh. Ah, brilliant. Um, next turn. Yeah, the first few turns is not not much happening. Essentially, it's always like the thrill of seeing. Oh, who's gonna who's gonna come up here? Who's gonna? Uh, oh, I don't give a shit if I'm trespassing. I'm the boss here. Um, like, ooh, who's also on this map? Which other civs spawned? Ah, oh, this is very exciting. And like first few city states, and what's the map look like around me? All these these classic things. Um, you know these these just save five things essentially. You know. Uh, oh, this is very nice. I like the map generation with this script. I'm not gonna lie, it's brilliant. Um, 
I should just go next turn. Yeah, we have eight turns till we get writing done, then we're going to be able to write. Which I found many sifts really take their time in getting that because it's not really important apparently to be able to write shit. Ah, oh, so much ivory. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Oh, I fucking love this. Map is huge, by the way. I, at least that's what I set it to. I'm not totally sure that's what's gonna, you know. Yeah. You know this game. You know, you know that it sometimes doesn't want what it says it wants or wants things it doesn't say it wants or, you know. I have ooh, I've met Yerevan. This is really cool. This is Tigranes, the second of Armenia. This is Liuji. Uh, uh, this seems to be the guy who painted this. Um, they are cultured and irrational and they have pearls. They're like crazy artists. This guy looks like a crazy artist. Why not be wanted to, to, like, ah, look at that shit. Yeah, we're gonna try to because uh, the Persians have the Immortals, which are like really good spearmen. Uh, I'll, I'll try to go ahead and clear those out very soon. Uh, because I don't want them swarming Persepolis, to be honest. The fucking barbarians. I hate barbarians. They're, they're cunts. They're also the same barbarians every. Fuck you! They're also the, the same barbarians everywhere, no matter where you are. I have some information that may be of use. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Why is it the science advisor that it tells me this anyway? Is it so scientific? Fuck! I have to call these people. I have to I'll go for the thing there and I'll call them back. Because, oh shit. I won't be able to do much now. I mean, I'm not able to do much at this point anyway. Cities, like military units, can defend against it. I know, I know. City. I know. Yeah, we won't be moving those workers out of the city anytime soon. Yeah. Now, this is not a big problem right now. Uh, but, oh, fuck off, mate. Oh, this is gonna be. This is not gonna end well. I can see that this is not going to end well. Uh, let's go ahead and build another warrior. Uh, we will need it to defend ourselves against all these cunts. It will be a fucking pain. Yeah, we don't have any improvements, so the only thing they can do is charge the city and die horribly in doing so. So, we're, like, at this point, we don't have much to lose, essentially. No workers, you will not do anything. And, oh, I'm getting, really, I'm getting... Oh, flanked and shit. They, they're, they're trying to, to scissor me, to, to DP me. Yeah, you know what DP means, you dirty bastard. You know what DP means? 